it's just you in the water. There's no chattering going on. It's kind of the, the sound of the water swirling around your ears or the bubbles going going past them is, is really kind of comforting. And even on a day off, sometimes I'll just go to the water just to, to hear that sound and just kind of relax. I usually wake up around 5.15. That gives me a little bit of time before a 6 a.m. practice. Yeah, so today's Saturday. Um, we have a 7 a.m. instead of a 6 a.m. It's kind of nice. We got a little, uh, a little time to sleep in. At the moment, I only have one Olympic medal. Um, and I got that from being on the prelims of the 4x100 freestyle relay. So that's, that's, that's kind of cool that I even got a medal at all. I'm now a graduate of the University of California at Berkeley, which is kind of exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and swim for, for a couple more years before I actually use that degree, but it feels pretty good to be able to say that I uh, graduated. I think my love for it has actually grown, grown a little bit. It's, it's, it's come around full circle. There's, there's obviously gonna be times where you know it's not your favorite thing, and, you know, you wish you could be sleeping in every day, but uh, you know, I, I really enjoy the group that we have that, that trains here at Cal, and, and we're all really good friends, so it's, it's really not that hard jumping in the water in the morning with them. I mean, it's like two weeks until Olympic trials. It's, it's a pretty unbelievable thing that it's already come up this, this quickly. It's a completely different mental game for me personally. To be completely honest, there's a little bit more of a burden um, walking in to the meet. It's kind of expected that I make it. The best way that I've found um, to approach that is, is not think about all the, you know, the negativity of, of what could happen from a poor race, but all the positive aspects that could happen from a good race. That includes getting on the Olympic team. I mean, what, what an incredible honor for, for anybody, no matter what you've done in the past. It's, it's making that Olympic team that's really kind of fulfilling those dreams again. After practice, as a group, whoever is, uh, is free, we go get breakfast. We, we just kind of hang out, enjoy each other's company, come back home, take a, an hour and a half, two hour nap, and then get up and do it all over again. Yeah.